Welcome back to Key Talk Media. This is your host, Key Talk. Check it out, man. All right. I want to give a shout out to Notification Gang, Key Talk Gang, even though they're really the same thing for rocking with me every single video. If you listen to my voice right now, go ahead and like the video and hit the notification bell so you get a notification every single time I drop a video. Anyways, so the Sauce Father, Sauce Walker, has been carrying TSF on his back for many years. Not only carrying TSF on his back for many years but of course independently has made millions of millions of dollars got all type of maybachs and cars and snow bunnies you know what i'm talking about via um, homes i think it's about a mansion in like miami somewhere like that anyways well now is coming time for the sauce father sauce walker he's now partnered up with a well not a major label but like a major independent label uh distribution kind of label uh now i don't know exactly what the deal is or nothing like that but it does look like the sauce Sauce Father, Sauce Walker, and also he's got like 50 artists from like Texas to all the way to Hiroshima uh, with Lil Sauce White. But anyways, it does look like the Sauce Father has now decided to let the industry give him a helping hand as it looks like he signed part of his label with Empire. Now, if you don't know who Empire is, Empire is like one of the leading distributing, um, you know, companies and everybody does know who Empire is, obviously. But, uh, you know, they got one of the leading distribution companies pretty much in the whole industry uh mo3 was actually signed to empire as well man you know oh he did it crush you your boys did it get crushed your boys did it get crushed i'm bullshit hey man i'm trying to tell you y'all don't y'all i'm going but check this shit out right here boy Ooh, boy yeah baby Ooh. <laughs> I had this cup. President, oh, oh, A and R, what's up, baby? Oh, what we going? Oh, A and R, are we corporate now? We corporate. Big dog. Yeah, you know, of course, we do always or often talk about, you know, how artists don't read any type of contracts at all whenever they sign. Now, I don't think that'll be the case for Sauce Walker simply because he's not just an artist. He's actually a CEO. I mean, he's been man like managing and having all these like 20, 30, 40 artists. I mean, he's got all I'm talking about artists all around Puerto Rico, all, all type of artists. He's been having all these type of artists. So therefore, he's been handling. OK, this is what the artist has to do here. Uh, that's what they got to do there. That's what this is. This means that so i feel like he's already got the experience in the fact that he's been doing you know it by himself like you know we'll probably got a team with him too but just you know not like a major or, or major independent label kind of team with him so i don't think he'll be the type of uh ceo artist that don't actually look over the contracts or at least understand what he's signing like the majority of artists see a lot of artists they just got the talent they don't have like the business mind they just got okay i'm gonna get in the studio rap go perform and get some money you know what i mean anyways Anyways, so trash talking Charles always talks about his big brother words in interviews, whether it's like on an IG live and somebody say something about him. And he pretty much always says, man, my brother killed somebody when he was 17 and my mom ain't shed one tear because she get to go see her son. But that other parent can't see her son at all. And of course, he's been denied parole a couple times. But then recently he did just say that his mama called him super happy and pretty much said that his brother uh, was access granted on some time type of parole or something like that man you know well it looks like the day has came where trash talking charles charleston white big brother k white has been free he took to his instagram showed a picture of buddy coming through the gates and he pretty much said my big brother k white was released from prison today after serving 31 years incarcerated in texas department of criminal justice tdcj for a murder he committed at the young age of 17 man you know i do expect buddy to jump right into the youtube game and start uh doing uh you know interviews uh pr more than likely be around dfw to start out with doing interviews pretty much talking about his story and he'll probably go to internet fame just like his little brother anyways let me know some so how do y'all feel about you know talking about sauce walker finally getting some type of major independent not really major but just independent you know talking about help from 
you know, empire, uh, you know, for the artist. It looked like he had peso, peso there, and it also looked like it was sauce would win in there as well. And so I don't know how much of the, you know, how much of TSF will they be helping out or how much will it be. But all I know is he said we corporate now, which means they've got that little backing behind them. And also, how do y'all feel about trash talking Charles' brother being free? Anyways, let me know some coming down below. Let me know what you think about this entire deal. I'm out.